here's what it was looking like Tuesday morning, the 20th of February, 2024. Didn't see any new snow in the last 24 hours. And we got the snow coverage maps from yesterday, which is here. And the next one is today. And we got time lapses for Stillwater Trail Information Center, Macaulay and Nelson's. And then we got some trail video. And we started out the day cloudy, and this time of the year, that's definitely a good thing. The more clouds we see, the better off we are because we're getting that time of the year. The sun comes out. It just starts melting stuff off because it's high in the sky. And if you watch the parking lot up at Stillwater, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about once the sun started coming out. Report from the town, fair to good conditions, up to a four-inch base. At 10 p.m., we're at 14 degrees. You see what I mean there in the parking lot? Blacktop, the stone's starting to show its, show its face. As you'll see on this time lapse in the information center, really didn't have any snow overnight or during the day. The high today was 33 at 3.30 this afternoon. And then the next clip is at the Information Center. Highway Department was hauling snow and dropping it off, and the groomers were pushing it across the lakefront. So the areas that get a high concentration of traffic that the snow gets beat up, they'll haul snow in as much as they can and move it around, cover it up, and make it rideable. And you'll see in the time lapse for the information center. But I figured I'd clip this part out and just show you. And you'll also see in the time lapse for the information center, our low was six below at 6.30 a.m. So that's why you're seeing all the steam off of the river there. And Macaulay was open today because of the holiday week. Normally they're closed on Tuesday. So there's people up there skiing. And as you saw between the trail camera, information center, and Stillwater, quite a few people around. Taking advantage of the conditions we have. Might not be perfect, but it's rideable. And next up we got Nelson's. There wasn't many ice fishermen that I saw today. Quite a few sleds, but very little ice fishermen. In the long-range forecast, well, Wednesday, it looks like the high is going to be over freezing for about two hours. The thing that concerns me more is it's going to be sunny on Wednesday. And then Thursday... We're going to be mid-30s, but we're going to have cloud cover. And I would almost take the mid-30s and cloud cover than the sun. Because the sun is not our friend this time of the year, as you've heard me say many times in the past. And then by Friday comes around, they change the liquid to snow. And then the weekend's good cold temperatures. So looks like we're going to pull off another weekend. After that, hard to say. Doesn't look very promising. And then here's out on the trails. I went out for a rip this afternoon. Clipped off a quick 25 miles. This is trail one, across the railroad tracks. And I went up one and I peeled off to the left to stay on one. And you 
you can see it's freshly groomed right there and I caught up with the groomer. Let me get past him. And there he is behind me. And then I stopped and waited for him to come through. As you can see, he's got quite a bit of material there he can work with. But the thing is, the main artery trails, the, the groomers have limited material they can work with because just so many people hit the main arteries. If you get into the secondary trails, they got some good material to work with. This is Bud's run. This is pipeline, and you'll see some spots like that right there that are beat up. And the last trip is over on Trail 9. I was coming from Rondax Road back towards Carter Station. So, definitely rideable. Not perfect, but it is what it is. Hope you're having a good one. And remember, see ya.